signs all you guys that have signs we're going to be giving out more signs here and here very shortly here's how this works around five minutes before noon we're going to get ready and we're all going to kind of march that way so you guys here in the next 20 minutes kind of hang out definitely hang out we have Tim Pate coming up in about two minutes he's going to play us some great songs keep the movement going but guys we're here for the march we're here to support freedom that's what we do Everybody, how are you doing today? This is, I think, our 14th of March here. I've been doing this for 13 years myself. I've actually been with the Seattle Hip Fest for 19 years. But way before then, I was an activist. I used to run the rock medicine team for the Grateful Dead from 88 until Jerry died. And over that period of time, I met a group of people out in Harrisburg, Oregon, who decided that they, <coughs> they, they would like to import <coughs> hemp excuse me, from Spain through France. And so we did, and we had to get the DEA's permission. So we imported this hemp, and then we took that hemp and we made boards out of it. What are we here for? Freedom! Freedom! How about we get Mr. Russ Belville up here and say It is very nice to see this type of turnout because there are so many people who are afraid to come out and stand out in public. One of the things that they need to realize in this country is that prohibition is a luxury item. It is not something we can afford any longer. We now have schools being closed, libraries being shut down, roads not being repaired because they are busy chasing little Johnny and little Jane and their plants. No one should be arrested for cannabis. We should have regulation. We should be able to clean test. We should have safe access points. What are we here for? Legalization. legalization, we need to have rights. You know, you can't just accept any medicine that's out there, any marijuana that's out there. You know, normal, especially here locally, Oregon Normal, they're your consumer's rights organization. You know, they're the ones that are going to help you make sure that your medicine, your recreational substance, your religious substance is yours. So remember that, folks. Support Oregon Normal. Support National Normal. Because they're the consumer movement for you. So, in order to stay out of jail, folks, we've got, you know, we've got the four sayings to help keep you out of jail. Once, you know, so, I'm going to say these, and I want everybody here to say them after me. So, when an officer approaches you, whether you're in your car, on your bicycle, on foot, and anywhere an officer approaches you, you say, am I free to go, officer? Am I free to go? Oh, wait a minute, we need it louder than that because the officer didn't hear you. Am I free to go, officer? Am I free to go, officer? All right. And then the next one is, this is, this is important because they'll try and trick you. You want to say, I do not consent to any searches. I do not consent to any searches. Okay. And then, you know, you want to make sure you're able to contact one of, one of these, uh, somebody like myself here. So, I wish to speak to an attorney. I wish to speak to an attorney. Yes. 
And remember, and then the other thing now, our Supreme Court, U.S. Supreme Court, in their wisdom, has said that you must speak to remain silent. It doesn't make sense, but who's, you know, these are just some old folks in Washington, D.C. So, number four is, I wish to remain silent. Educate to medicate and recreation. No medicine can do nothing quite like this. So please give me my cannabis. 